Hey, what's up YouTube? How's it going? This is Kiko. In today's vlog, I'm going to be talking about my trip to Japan. So, I was in California visiting some friends and, you know, I made a vlog about that and my friends dropped me off at the airport. And at the airport, I met up with this friend. Um, we'll call my friend Shay, because that's her real name. And pretty much, me and her were the only two students from our university going to Japan. So, we decided we were going to go together so that we wouldn't, like, arrive in Japan alone because we weren't going to know anyone else except each other. So, I met up with her and she was really nervous, obviously. But me, I wasn't as nervous. I was actually really calm I thought in my mind that I was gonna be like nervous five minutes or ten minutes before getting on the plane but no I wasn't nervous like I was prepared I had my phone charged downloaded some games I had my computer charged I downloaded like 10 movies dude I was ready man cuz this plane ride was gonna be like 10 hours maybe 12 hours yeah it was gonna be a long plane ride so I was ready and five minutes before getting on the plane um, my computer decided to die I have any time of the year I decided to die like five minutes before getting on this 10 hour plane ride and I bought a new pair of headphones for like 20 bucks so now those headphones were like a waste so I was kind of sad I'm like damn just some bad luck man but anyway we get on the plane and surprisingly the service on that plane was amazing I was mind blown for example they had, you know how sometimes you have like a little TV screen in front of you they had that but you didn't have to pay for any of the services or features they had on the screen so you could watch free movies free games free entertainment you know and also they provided us with some free headphones but I had my new pair of headphones which I used I plugged in and 10 minutes after I plug it in I move to the right like I like I kind of shift my body and I bend my headphone like the little the the little jack it was in there and I bended this whole thing over like this whole thing it just bend it over and it twist it off and I was like oh like I just bought them dude I paid like 20 bucks for them and they were good quality more bad luck you know there goes my headphones there goes my computer and I only have my phone whatever dude the play service was great they provided me with free entertainment and free movies when my laptop died they provided me with free headphones when my headphones broke and they gave us free food yo here's some pictures of like the food they gave us that was all free they fed us twice yo I was a happy camper man I thought it was gonna be like a pretty bad plane ride you know 10 hours 12 hours but no I was good well, anyway let's enjoy the plane ride to Japan Boom, start. Yeah, awesome. You know, we arrived, dude. We arrived. We're here. And we arrived in Tokyo, and that's where we had to change flights to go to Sapporo, Hokkaido. Picked up our luggage, and then got on the plane. And then we arrived in Sapporo, finally. And by the time we arrived, the airport was already empty. It was already late at night. And when we got there, there was a teacher, a professor from our university who picked us up. And he spoke English, so it was easy to communicate with him. So anyway, he helped us with our luggage. He put it in his car. And then he took us to go eat. And the only place that was open at like 10, 11, p.m. at night was McDonald's so our first meal in Japan was McDonald's I know right why McDonald's out of all places in Japan McDonald's yeah but McDonald's was the only place open and McDonald's is it's the exact same as America you know exact same hamburger size everything tasted exactly the same and yeah after we ate McDonald's the the professor the one that spoke English he took us to a convenience store to you know buy some food you know just for like the following day you know bread eggs and stuff and then he brought us to our apartment yeah and then he left and he also gave us a piece of paper of like our schedule for the next couple days oh man the schedule was really helpful for us because it kind of told us like where to go what time to go like at the university because the university is only like a 10 minute walk from our apartment so we had a nice handy schedule and we just followed the schedule for like the next day you know it's like go here at this time go here at this time and then at this time you're gonna meet up with this person so that was really useful and yeah pretty much the next day we just spent like signing the paperwork for the apartment you know getting registered at the courthouse you know stuff like that you know and then me and Shay the girl that came with me we met up with this Japanese student her name is Sayano she's a Japanese student who's a major in English so she speaks English and she pretty much volunteered to help us out and she took us to like pretty much around town you know she took us to the grocery store to kind of translate the items we were buying because when I went to the grocery store like there was this big bottle like here's a picture of it and I looked at it and I'm like oh this is water you know I'm gonna buy some water and then um Sayano she said like that's not water that's alcohol that's sake and I looked at it and I'm like dude this looks like water I, I wouldn't have thought that this was alcohol because that's a big ass bottle of alcohol you know and it was pretty cheap too so I was like, 
So yeah, she helped us buy groceries, translated for us, and then she took us on the metro. It took us to like Sapporo station, a subway station. That's kind of like a mall. That's the best way to explain it, but it's not a mall. Like I, I want to say it's a mall, but it's not a mall. Like there's a lot of stores and everything, and it goes on for like you just walk, 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 more stores, more stores, but it's just called Sapporo station. Uh, we went there. It was really packed, and I found out that when you're going up the escalators, you cannot hog the whole escalator. You're gonna stay on the left side of the escalator so that on the right side people who are on a rush can walk up the escalators i did not know that but i found out yeah we just walked around bought some more stuff you know returned home yeah it was a pretty good day um and this is the part where i tell you guys a story time story time now i don't really feel comfortable telling you guys this story time but you know i'm gonna do it because you know i gotta do it for the video right do it for the vine so oh my gosh it's a little bit embarrassing well it is embarrassing for me anyway so when we were going to the metro or the subway i have never been on one before i haven't even been on a bus except the school bus so you know this is the first time i'm using public transportation but anyway we're waiting for the metro the metro comes the doors open people rush out people rush in and shay and Sino sit down like on one side of the metro and I'm just kind of looking around like where am I gonna sit down and then I'm like you know what I'm just gonna sit down right across from them so I go to my seat I'm about to sit down and right as I'm about to sit down I'm like halfway sitting down and then the metro starts moving and you know once it starts moving you kind of like fall over well I fell over but I fell on the guy right beside me like right next to me I fell on him and I tried to get up right away but I couldn't get up because of like the metro moving so it was really hard to get up off of him so I was on him for a good three or four seconds Oh, it was so embarrassing, man. I just looked at him and I said, sorry, my bad. And then I realized like, yo, this guy doesn't even speak English, man. And then I was just like, oh my gosh. So I just got really red. I finally got off of him after like three or four seconds. He didn't say anything. He just, he, he didn't even say anything. He was just like really serious. So I finally sat down and I was all red. I was like, oh, that was fucking embarrassing. I look up, Sayano and Shay are laughing at me. They're getting red from laughing. And I just put my head down. I'm like, no, no, no. And then I look up again. And then I noticed some people kind of look at me. And I'm like, oh gosh, this is the embarrassing i got my backpack i had my face for like a minute look over and they're still laughing at me i'm like stop laughing it's not funny <laughs> It's not funny. And yeah, it was it was an embarrassing experience, dude. So yeah, that's what happened. Um, I didn't hear the end of it until like a week later because uh, they kept bringing it up. Like, yeah, hey, remember the the metro? I'm like, yo, you guys you guys gotta chill out, man. It wasn't that funny. It was embarrassing. But yeah, that's what happened. Just a quick story time. And yeah, lol, right? So after that, yeah, after the Sapporo station, and everything, we returned home. Then a couple of days later, we had orientation. And then at the orientation, we didn't understand anything. It was all in Japanese. But we had Sino, the English major and a couple other students who were also English majors follow me and Shay around they were like our little posse they were following us around they were translating for us they were helping us they, they were very helpful and you know shout out to them dude they, they they were like the mvps yo they took care of us like they took care of us i did not expect that and like i appreciate it you know i appreciates it too so much appreciation there and yeah that's pretty much what happened like just like the first couple weeks or like the first week anyway so two things that blew my mind when we first arrived the language barrier is real yo like going to the gas station not understanding anything like it's it's kind of stressful you know like you want to communicate but you don't understand anything and number two the trash sorting the trash we have to sort the trash plastic papers burnables you know stuff like that and we can only throw them out on a certain day for example monday you know plastics only tuesdays you can only throw out burnables so we're gonna sort out the trash we can get in trouble if we don't and if you're out in public and you buy like a starbucks or something and you finish your coffee it's really 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 hard to find a trash can there's like no trash cans anywhere not even like at the mall because you got to find either like a convenience store a gas station or throw it away at your home it's really hard to find a trash can and that is a luxury that i missed back in america but so far i love it here man japan is cool i like it but yeah that's pretty much it i mean if you guys have any questions for me you know drop a comment i'll try and answer them now you guys are probably wondering like Iko, what are you gonna do right now man i'll show you exactly what i'm gonna do just wait a minute All right, so you know me, I'm gonna go enjoy that pink water, man, and you guys can enjoy your regular clear water, and I'm gonna be living in luxury. So I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Peace out.